is Japan's new metagame structure starting to set up here? Well, you might have some surprises here for you. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Your new metagame landscape. Now, keep in mind, Rage of the Abyss is still turning over here. You know, we're about three, four-ish weeks away from getting the chance to actually see that deck or that set actually take hold here on the course of the meta. But, you know, with the latest ban list, things have really changed. You know, Japan might not have had, like, the best-looking format on paper, but there were some little diversities here and there that actually did make their format, you know, appear a little bit different. And uh, looking at your S tier up here, seeing Fiendsmith Rescue Ace supposedly being this um, massively huge, devastating deck, I, I find that very hilarious, actually. To be fair, Rescue Ace has no real problems usually putting two monsters on the field, so, you know, getting to that full Fiendsmith combo is actually kind of easy. You also do see here that, you know, even though the Tenpai Field Spell has kind of found itself leaving the game, you do see that, you know, Tenpai is still up on that food chart, the, or at, at the apex, and I, I do think a lot of people have kind of taken a step back from Tenpai, but... It's not to say that, you know, the deck still has some consistency issues now with having interruptions be threatening. Your A tier, you still have Fire Kings, you still have, you know, U Bell, and you still have the Flamberge, Dragon, and Friends. So you still have all of these deck engines now being held together by the staple that is Fiendsmith. You do get the chance to see, yes, Mementos down here in the B tier. Uh, Fiendsmith with the Illusion Package, the Melodious. Uh, pendulum pile and of course regular old snake eyes i know people are still trying snake eyes without good cards down here in c tier we have labyrinth runic thunder dragons i did not expect to see that one you also do have dinkatron and friends you have a little bit of love still for voiceless voice voiceless voice so far down there like it's so crazy to see that and block dragon actually bringing up the rear here block dragon was not on my bingo sheet of little guys to see you know kind of sticking their head back out of the hole and going hi i'm back but it is so interesting to see how this meta is shifting, maybe not in like the greatest ways, but you know, Konami did manage to blow up their own duelist pack sales. So there is that. Let's pass on over to those deck lists. This is your big, scary, big bad boy scarecrow deck in the room here. As you know, you're just doing standard rescue ace combo. Even with, you know, emergency limited to one, this deck has kind of found itself, I guess, at the apex of the food chain here. Kind of, I guess, being the scarecrow in the room. I don't know. I uh, I'm intrigued to still see how this deck kind of develops further into the meta. But if this is the standard that people are afraid of seeing, um, I don't know. It just it feels beatable. Uh, next up is Tenpai with one field spell. Times have changed for this creature. Uh, though this build that we're showcasing out of this, Ashley was playing the triple mark chummy in here. So now we can safely go second, use those maxis, use those marchummies to, you know, net this huge, huge pile of advantage against your opponent. I mean, just draw all of your dragon pieces and you'll be good to go. I think that's that's your takeaway from this, right? Is just find the good cards and win the game. All right, our Fire King build. Wow, the just the two, what is this, like a five, six card splash package for this? It just proves... You know, like, your Fire King good stuff is consistently bound by the Fiendsmith and the Dia Bellstar package just to get everything going. It, it's how many packages can we shove into the same deck to get those results rolling? Um, that's that's the whole Fiendsmith deck for you. Uh, outside of that, there really is nothing too crazy or noteworthy here. Uh, moving on along, we have the power of the one Phantasme in our build. Okay. I guess if, you know, you need that two Dark Beckoning Beast is very interesting here as well. You do see we're doing the Wave King Kaiser instead of doing the Beatrice, which I, I think that's a lot more correct. Uh, we are citing the additional, or the one Unchained Trap. Okay, that's interesting. Um, man, no Super Polys even needed anymore for this deck. How times have changed. Uh, moving on along here, uh, we do have our very, very interesting, just pure um, Fiendsmith, Flamberge, Dragon, and Friends deck. And I'll be honest with you, there's, 
you just you take out the fire king cards you know add in a little bit more pobbler and friends and you kind of have what you need to see do you have the dramatic chase and the silvera down there so pretty much everything that you need for this build is good to go and then we have memento pile this deck as long as it does not get shifted has one of the craziest ceilings present in the game and I think a lot of people do need to take some time, actually play test this deck, and actually see, hey, you know, this iteration of this is why this is good. You know, being able to search the field spell for free off of the big dude just makes this deck into such a nightmare for people to play against. Give this deck a shot. All right, next up here. We have our Barrier Statue, Dia Blaze Turbo, all the illusion good stuff that you want to have. Present with the Fiendsmith stuff, basically you're using all of these engines, turning things over here for those consistent results. You do see the Fabled Lurie in here, as you should be seeing with the full Fiendsmith combo. Uh, you do have the one of King Tiger Wang, who down here on the side, yeah, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Just full extenders lose to Dimensional Barrier. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an experience. Uh, next up is the Pendulum Ostinato Melodious pile that they have because Electromite is legal. Uh, if we had Electromite, I feel like we could bridge together some sort of pile of madness like this. But because the TCG does not have Electromite, you know, these Pendulum builds that do exist don't really get the chance to shine here. So while the Ostianato stuff does not lock you, this is the only current iteration that this deck is really actually seeing any play for in the OCG. So good stuff. Next up here, we have Triple Original Sinful Spoils, The Pile. So this is Flamber's Dragon and Friends by not playing, you know, the Fiendsmith cards, you know, that package that, you know, wants to make this deck as consistent as possible. And I guess not having those Fiendsmith cards can save you a little bit of money, but you're going to want the most consistent build if you're trying to play this. Um, but I guess, you know, from one engine to the next. Also, this build's playing the Magician Souls, which I find really, really funny. All right, next up here. Hi, Labyrinth. How are you? So, Labyrinth here is doing the double transaction rollback, the one destructive Duru McCann, and they're dedicating uh, the Fiendsmith package in here as well. You do have the more chummies down there in the side. I feel like that's a pretty standard thing in a lot of these builds that, you know, need to, you know, sculpt their hands to find some sort of, you know, value for the end board. Also, double Chaos Angel. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Oh, hey, look, it's Runic Stun. Double Organism in the main deck. Double Dimensional Fissure. <laughs> the thing that makes this deck so insane that it actually even is viable in the OCGs because they have Triple Card Demise. Like, I really wish we could have Triple Card Demise here, but it'd be too degenerate. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, of course, Double Desires, the Double Duality. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's actually just so insane out here. Uh, so many turbo options. Okay. Uh, ooh, Thunder Dragons. So this is the only real change here from any other old Thunder Dragon list is they're like, hey, we've gone ahead. You can play two Colossus now. It's build of not even making use of this. It is kind of cool, though, to know, you know, this deck can actually kind of climb up into some kind of cool resources to kind of punish the opponent. So I'll take that as a W, actually. The fact that, you know, you are getting the chance to see these little consistency pieces be added in. Okay. Uh, next up is Noids. Man, how I wish we had the 60-card Noid version. There is your good old grass. You also have the triple monster gate, the triple reasoning. You also are able to triple dark fusion your opponent. So, you know, you can set up that big monster to do your thing. And this build gets to play if you hit the high roll, the transaction roll back with the Mayakashi trap card. So your opponent cannot play the game. Isn't that exactly what you want to be seeing here? Yeah, good stuff. Uh, next up is our voiceless voice contender. Oh, man, this deck is so... Nothing's changed. Double Skull Guardian, double Saravis. Okay, I feel like that's pretty normal. One Magna Hut built into the main deck. Two Dynamondos down in the extra. We do have the Azalea. We are doing the uh, big old Chaos Angel. Oh, the one Herald. We gotta get the search. We're side decking triple evenly is kind of like a going second option just so, you know, you can actually see what you need to see there. And a crap ton of Psalms. Yeah, that, that's pretty normal, I feel like. And, ooh, Earth at Emancipator, good stuff. So, Block Dragon and Friends here in the current iteration of things. 
you, they do have a redox right now. I, I think that's a pretty cool thing to, you know, mention. You know, this deck did get a free little monster reborn back along the way, so that's something big to kind of toss in here. Geonator Transverser. You can get into some of the uh, the little BS things along the way, but I think there's there's something kind of cool about this just being back as a little relevant pile. But uh, what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.